So we are going to be starting page four. You're going to cut out a, a piece that's seven inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. This is not a pocket page. We are just going to be building on this. You're going to be cutting two pieces out seven and a half inches long by two and a quarter inch wide. Now with these pieces, you're going to put them both with the two and the quarter inch side on top. You're going to score half an inch. You're going to turn this one and score half an inch here. Now the other one has to be going in a different direction. So this one's going to be the two and a quarter inch on top, half an inch. And then this one needs to be scored. Let's, let me look at my base page. And we're going to, I guess it doesn't matter, <laughs> just squirt half an inch here also. Just want to be sure. Okay. And then you're going to cut a piece six and a half inches long by one and three quarter inches wide. This is not going to be scored. And you are going to be cutting a flap six and one quarter inches. Let's see, that's six and one quarter inches wide by five and three quarter inches high. You're going to put it, put it in with the six and one quarter inch on top, and you're going to score it at a half an inch. So we're done with our scoring. So you're going to get these two long pieces and you're going to fold and burnish those. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to put on um, my score tape on those half inch bits. So I'll be, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and burnish these and put on my score tape on these parts here. And I'll be right back. So the way these are going to work, so we have, I've, I've got the, my score tape here and I mitered that corner there. This is going to be going up here. So this is the seven inches wide here. So this is going to fit like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to affix this, this end right here first, and then I'm going to put my black construction tape um, on this little end, not this end. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this, put that down, put my black construction tape, and I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. On this side, it faces these, wider the corners there. This is also gonna go down here, and I'm gonna put my, this bit down first, and add my black construction tape. So I have my flaps, in, well, these little half pockets in like this, and I put my black construction tape down like this. And I guess it really doesn't even matter because we are going to be applying this paper all the way to the back, so that really doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm going to do, you are getting this paper. This is the one you used, remember this? So you should have this intact down here. So you're going to be cutting this to size to slip in here. And what you're going to be doing is slipping this in like this. So that's what you're going to be cutting. So it slips in there. And then once you slip it in there, you can go ahead. Um, well, actually, this one, you have to pull the tape before you slip it in. I believe that's what I did. Yes, that's what I did. So go ahead and pull the, these two. Okay, so those are in. I'm going to have to erase this. So now you're going to cut a piece that fits within that. So this is seven and a half inches tall. So you're going to cut this like seven and three eighths inches tall. And then you're going to go all the way to here, which is 
six and seven eighths. So. so you're going to be cutting this paper six and seven eighths inches wide by seven and three eighths inches tall. What you're going to do with this is you're going to be putting this in like this. It just kind of slides in there. I can get it to slide in like that. So let me show you what we are trying to do. So this is this thing. Here's those little side side pockets right here. And then here's the paper we just slid in underneath. So there it is. So we just slid that paper underneath. This is the base page that you are building it on. So it's going like this. So this is what we're building. So get that in, and then you are going to be covering these pieces with this paper. Let me see which way I had my stripes going. Not that it matters. Um, so this is this paper again, and you're just going to cut in to fill in here. See how I did it? So you're just cutting these pieces. So it's like one and three quarters by six and seven eighths. But measure yours to get it, to make sure you get it right. Because everybody cuts different. So you're gonna put this paper on here and here on this bottom on this bottom part too. Next you're going to be adhering this piece down. Now this piece down <coughs> excuse me goes like this. So this you are just gluing on the bottom and the top. And this is going to be, okay, making this way too complicated. So this is being placed a half an inch, a half an inch up from the bottom and top and five eighths of an inch in, roughly. I mean, that's what I did. And then you're going to be adhering this. I just kind of marked where it goes. And so I'm going to be putting my score tape up on here below that line that I made and then I'm going to affix this right here like that so you have this this all made you've put in your designer paper here you put in the striped designer paper here you put in this little like a belly band you have not covered it yet because we're going to add some magnets. But first we need to put in our flap. So get your flap six and one quarter inches by five and three quarters. And remember you scored it here. Let me get, bring this down real well. You're going to find the center of this flap. And so I just drew my line, find the center of this flap. And you're going to find the center of this base page back here. So here's this kind of belly band thing. You're going to find the center back here. And what you're going to do is align those two. You got your two centers and then just go ahead and adhere this down. I, I use glue. I use glue. I never use glue. I use tape. And just look at that, make sure that looks centered with your front. And mine looks pretty good, so I'm going to pull my tape. So I added the flap real hard to see. So we have our flap in. 
We have not covered this paper yet. So now we're going to put two magnets on this flap over here. So you're gonna put a magnet here and a magnet here. And then you're going to transfer your magnets over to this flap over this little belly band here. So go ahead and get your magnets and transfer them over. So this is about where your magnets are going to be, here and here. So once you have your magnets in, you can go ahead and cover this little strip with your decorator paper and you're going to be using this. So you're gonna cover this little strip now that you have your magnets in. For the inside of the flap, I also made a little ribbon pull. So I put a little ribbon pull in here. So if you would like to put a little ribbon pull, you can do that. You just kind of put it in the center. So you would put the ribbon pull right here. And then what I did is I covered the edge of this flap, here's my magnets up here. There's the magnet there and the magnet there. With this paper, this is from the eight by eight. It's the eight by eight of this. And you are going to cut this, how wide? It's like one and a half inches wide. So you're gonna cut this striped paper, which is from the eight by eight. This is from the 12 by 12, eight by eight. And you're gonna put one and a half inches down here, and then you're going to fill in the rest of the inside flap with this paper. So I think we have everything. There you can see where the magnets transferred over to here. So we have this covered, we got our magnets here. We have this covered, this inside is put in and it's adhered down, this is done. We just need to do the front of the card. So the front of the card, you are going to be using this image. This is from the patterns. So you're gonna cut out this, the Holly Jolly, and you're going to be putting that down over here. So that's how it's going to look. So we got our flap, we got our magnets in, this is all covered. So far so good. I always seem to make it harder than it is. It's, oh, it's, it's not that hard. Um, so this is all done. So now we need to mount it on our actual pocket page. So here's our pocket page. Here is the spine. You are going to be covering the back, this, this pocket page with this paper from the 12 by 12. I don't believe we've cut into this paper yet. You are, this is eight by eight, so you're gonna cut, be cutting this seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths, and you're just going to be backing this whole backside with this red plaid paper. So get that cut and inked, the red plaid paper, and then you are going to be adhering this piece on top of here. You're going to center it from top to bottom, and you're going to just have not quite, well, maybe like an eighth of an inch from the pocket page there. You're gonna be putting this, like this base build an eighth of an inch in from the pocket page right here. So this is what you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to have. You're gonna have this red um, plaid paper on the back side, and this is gonna be plopped on top of it it's centered from top to bottom. So you got a little bit of plaid here, a little bit of red plaid here, an eighth of an inch plaid here, 
and then that you have this space here, this bigger plaid space here. So far so good. Then you're going to, we're going to make an insert for this. You're going to cut a piece. Mine is basically seven inches long, um, wide and I made it five and three quarters inches in this direction. So seven inches in this direction, five and three quarters in this direction. I put on the edge here, this image from the eight by eight collection. I just cut the Santa around the green where you see the green here. I just cut that around the green, ink the edges and put that on. So it's just around that green line. And then I filled this out with that plaid paper from the patterns, the 12 by 12 patterns. I used my scallop punch for the ends here. And I, I did a hole here and put a, a little eyelet in there. Rounded the corners on the end here and here. It's always nice to have these ends rounded because this is going to be going into um, this piece. So if you have rounded edges, they always slide in easier. So this is what the front looks like using this. On the back, I just used this the plaid paper here, and then I just used some cream cardstock and inked the edges. So that's the back, that's the front, and it just goes right in here, and this is what you see. So this is the way it should be looking in your album, like that. And then you have this little pole where you can just take it out. And you can make this into a book booklet if you want. You can even add more tags because this is this is, is basically a pocket. So that goes in like that. And that's it for page four. So here is how it should look once it's done. I think it's a really pretty page. Pretty simple, but it turned out, I think, so pretty.